No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Welcome to Fragment. This week's speaker is Yunfeng Zhang, Castle University, McTreeson mm -hmm. Index Theorem, and Donaldson Thomas Thank you. Thank you for my friend for the invitation. So yeah, so the first uh, hour I will basically uh, focus on some basic stuff. So my title is this, right? So uh, let's make a plan, <laughs> outline uh, on the <coughs> part. I will do the following. The first, I want to, uh, I think everybody knows this. So I will review the 10 class of uh, vector bundles, or maybe I just read it to 10 bundles. Uh, a smooth complex manifold. The second is I introduce the so called local order abstraction of map force. The third one will do the introduce what's map forces index here. And the fourth, I, I will uh, don't prove this, right? I'm called map force and prove. And then I want to inter, you know, explain this one in terms of the Lamarck intersection. <clears throat> okay, so the first one maybe, suppose we have X be a complex manifold, smooth, or smooth project variety, convex manifold. We know that on the tangent bundle we have 10 class. Actually, the 10 class can be defined for any uh, vector bundle on the complex manifold. So we have, uh, I got to review that, the 10 class C0x, C1x, and so on. Suppose dimension x is n, for example, complex dimension. So everything over C, sorry. <laughs> Right? So this each CI belongs to the with Z coefficient or with Q. Uh, yeah. Right? This is a 10 class. So we review a little bit because we take this uh, fundamental theorem, but uh, it's already very, not a very true, right? So the, we know the famous. I actually see Gauss Bernay tensor. Right? Is if X is a combat smooth complex manifold, and then we have the integration of I might not see tall, but we really see that. So the, the integration of the top turn class on X is actually the topology of the characteristic. Okay. Or you can use the chain V theory, represent this one by the top and then fold, right? You know, integration of X. This must come back, okay, and smooth. So this is the Gauss Bernay chain theory. And also, you know, this this one, this term actually before that there are some you know complete the combinatorial proof and the term it was intrinsic proof for this theorem in 1946, right? In Anderson, I read that paper, six pages. It's so very interesting. That's the, I think that's the beginning of the 10 class. So now, uh, maybe we can calculate an example for the graduate student. So now, let's go down. Everybody knows the projective space, right? Over C. And then for the projective space, Smooth, you know, complex manifold, and then we can write down with the chain class for this, right? And also, by the way, this top chain class, also called Ola class, right? Because this really calculates the Ola number, you know, Ola characteristic. Okay, now for this one, we will have the, you know, the Ola sequence, the famous Ola sequence. Right? This to the tangent. 
how to prove that you can find a Hashrin chapter 2, I guess. <laughs> in, in section 8, they do the, the do of this, they do the <laughs> cotangent bound. Okay, now, if this is true, then we can calculate the chain class, right? Because chain, total chain class, yeah, we write down this one, total chain class will be equal to C0 plus C1 plus C0. So now the total chain class of this one will be equal to the by the you know if you have a exact sequence and then uh, the total chain class of the OP and this is a trivial right because of the structure of this trivial bound times the total chain class of the So this is this one this is really the total chain class of the tangent bound, right? Yeah. So for this one, the line model we know because uh, eventually the, the check class first defined by line model. The, this I I take C O one. This is the several line model, right? On P n, so this is the one plus I call X. X is really the generator of the generator of that. Okay, this is isomorphic. You can think of this one. Okay, probably the one. This is the it tells you the property so that O1 is non-trivial on PN. Okay? Correspond to the tautological line bound on PN. You, know, you learn the cross manian And then you calculate because this one and uh, the direct sum of n plus one of this one will be one plus x to n plus one. Right? And then you can calculate this one equal to one plus for this, <laughs> yeah, n plus one x squared and the plus and so on plus n plus one and your n plus x n. Am I right? Yeah. X. And then plus n plus x n plus one, but this one is zero. Yeah, Be because the yeah, the cohomology of n only has you know n number. And uh, n plus one, that means you know, a dimension of homology PN is zero because uh, you know n plus one bigger than n, right? Only the dimensions. So now we can we really know that the C n of this one is n plus one x one, right? You do the integration x p n is n plus one x n. So this n. So you know the x power n. If you think the x correspond to the a high a regular hyperplane. Of um, PN, then you have n regular high plane intersect, eventually you intersect one pole. One pole is one. That's the now. You know, this, this is the integration, okay? So this is one. So the topology characteristic of PN is n plus one, right? We all know that. So this is the first one. So the story is how to now how to generalize this or all the Gauss Bernet theorem, chain theorem, to singular variety. Now the everything here is smooth, right? Smooth predictive variety or smooth come back complex manifold. Now <clears throat> I want to study, you know, singular. Singular means I need to calculate the thing. I need to, you know, study this, okay? So this is exactly back forces. So, so now I introduce the second was generalize Gauss Bonnet chain theorem to singular writings. Now we need to do the OLA obstruction. This is really so I introduce what's the local OLA obstruction. This is my process of local OLA So now let's do the following. I fix a scheme or variety X. Okay? And then if Z belong to X is a Closed sub variety or sub scheme. I want to define the following. 
I want to make one. The local OLA obstruction EUZ to Z, this thing, okay, is a constructor. If it away, construct a function. Defined by the following. So E U Z evaluate at the point P belong to Z equals to the following point. I write down that, and then you clean the ZME, okay? By this integration. Here. Sorry, where's, where's P live? Hmm? Where's P live? P is an point on Z. So the function goes from that Z. Defined by for P belong to Z. So the function goes from Z to the integers. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Remember, don't confuse with this. This is the integer. This is the close upper. This is the Yeah. So now, here, where? First, I introduce what's the hat? Mu z hat to z is the natural law. How to construct this? You know, on Z, you will, suppose I have a, you know, here, mm, how to do this? Suppose I have, I think that I, I have dimension Z is D. And then, if, if I have a, you know, close embedding, right, like, to the grass manion bundle of the dimension D on TM. Suppose we will have we fix the embedding from X to M. M is smooth. Okay. So this is the bus manual bundle over M of dimension D. You know that means on each fiber you take you know on each M, right? On each small M on L T M M is uh, m dimension, suppose the dimension of m is m, okay, small m, m big, very big, right? So this uh, dimension m is uh, small bigger to c, or m, for example. And then on each fiber, then you take the grass many of d dimension subspace in cm, okay, that's a grass many bundle. And then z0 is the smooth part of d, because every every scheme has a dense open subset is smooth, okay? So this z goes to the tangent space d at Right? Because smooth, the tangent space at that point must be d dimension. That, that goes to embedding. So now, this z hat is really the image of the arrow at this map as t curve. This is the natural problem. And also, you, 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 you take this embedding m, but this one, the natural problem does not depend on the embedding. Yes, sir. Yeah. Assuming that x is compact. No, no, okay. it's okay. Here for any scheme, it's okay. okay. Not, not necessarily. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Sorry, in simple situations, uh, say that I take just. Yeah, you, you take uh, no. the example, you take this, right. then embed it to C2. Right. And then eventually you will get a. Yeah, as Rito said, uh, this natural blow up in general, give a remark. This natural blow up in general is not a blow up. But in the special case, if Z has a hypersurface polarity, then this natural blow up is blow up. Like in this case, it's the blow up. You take a blow up of this along the single point, along the. Separate. Yeah, then you separate. Then you take the proper transformation of this. Because it's. Then this one will be this. Yeah. Right. It's remembering also the tangent direction of the yeah. line at each point. Yeah. So this is the. This is the example this we have. 
Yeah. It's a normalization. Yeah, uh, yeah normalization. So yeah, you mark. If Z has only hypersurface similarity, the Z hat is the is the you no know, is the just the, the, the general law. Can be can be obtained by the general law. This so sorry, is Z hat always uh Smooth, or you no. might have to perform it several times. No. Okay. no, you just define the head like this, but the head cannot be, can be no. still simple. Still simple, indeed. But it, in some sense, it's going to be less singular than the previous. Yeah, probably. probably. Yeah. But but you know, in the smooth case, look, in the smooth D zero, you still get a D zero, right? Only on the simpler locus, you get some jump, some, some, you know, some very complicated jump. So yeah, I only learn, you know. Some of this you, you you use this language because uh, Michael Forson proved that really this this is the correct language to generalize to singular star. Okay. But not, as I said, natural law is very complicated, and as I, I I think that even now people, uh, uh, Haranaka theorem said every single variety can be given by uh, can can be resolved by blocks, right? But that's not true. I think we don't know if that's true for natural problems. Okay. This. And uh, I, I still <laughs> didn't finish. So complete. So now what's this, right? So mu, this is the natural blow up. I erase this example. Right now this. This TZ is the Nash tangent number on Z hat. I write on TZ, but this is a vector bound on T hat. So look, this is the typological bundle from the Grassmannian then re restrict to the hat, Z hat. Because Z hat belong to here, right? Belong to the Grassmannian bundle. Okay? On the Grassmannian bundle here, on the, this one, you have a tautological bundle around the D bundle, am I right? You know, you take an element here, you, you take the bundle associated to the line, the D, D number C D. And then you restrict to D hat, Z hat, you get this. This is called the Nash tangent bundle. So this is the total trick class of the Nash tangent bundle. And the, this one is the secret class. Right? Of the normal point of this one, then the yeah, importance in the second zero. And then you do the cup product, the integration over the, the final. And the remark, you know, in a, in a smooth key, case, if the uh, key is smooth, you got one if P is smooth. This is really because on the right hand side in parentheses you have T as you have the tangent bundle on both sides. Yeah. And then the the term class and the second class are inverse of each other. Right? Yeah, so yes. Yeah. Right. Then then you in yeah, smooth case it really you get all trivial you get one. The only non trivial you get yeah, you can calculate example, but I don't have time to calculate. I really can calculate some very basic example because it doesn't very complicated ones, very hard. So, and then this is the local polar obstruction. So now from this polar, because this one is constructible, means this function is constant on the locally closed substrate. Means you can think, oh, this singular stuff, I can take some stratification so that on each strata, this function is constant. Measure the singularity. How deep the singularity is. Yeah, so somehow we should think that this Stratification measures how bad the singularity yes, is. Yes, you are right. Yes. yes. Uh, so because you have a smooth path on here, always one. Always one. This the. And also, using this, maybe I write down here, using this, remember, I fix the scheme of x. I define for any closed sub variety z inside x, this is not blue up. 
And then this is a constructible function. Then I define the weighted or characteristic of the x weighted by this constructible function as come all the integers. Right? Means you, you, you take all the you know, parameter of a fixed the, 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 the number of a, you know I here, right? I use the red one. Right? And then the preimage time the weight, the time the whole accuracy of the preimage. Yeah. That's weak. For example, if this one all one, then you get the topological characteristic, right? In general, look, I think it's the only closed subright. So that means this is easy to, to see. That means E U Z P is is given by this. This if, if uh, it does write up, this is zero if P does not belong to it. Okay. This got this definition is called weighted one. So this one weighted by the constructible function E U Z. Okay. Now I can state my opposing index. So to do that, we need first define the sum class, sum two class, right? Otherwise, you know how we can. Because this uh, is a generalization of Gauss position theorem. So now, first I define for z inside x, define the so-called chain mother class. CMZ equals to the following. Mu log push forward. This is a natural law. Total turn class of the not tangent boundary. Okay. This is this okay? I mean, look, I have a chunk a vector boundary on here. Not tangent boundary. I take the total trend class, and then I tap with the fundamental class of the hat. Then I through this map, push forward to Z. Because this problem, push forward to Z. Then I get some chow class, chow class on Z, right? Because this is a close separating on X, then you do push forward, forward again to X. I get some class of X. This is called trend mother class. This assume x is compact or projective. Now, is if x is projective, right? So the integration of the chain mother class on X. So here I write on the total chain, you know, chain mother class, but here this is really degree zero class. Because all the other zero, right? You need to cap with the fundamental class of the X, right? That's really the degree zero chalk class that correspond to the top degree of the cohomology. So this is my fourth index. You, you, you can see that this theorem is in the 1960-something, right? I forgot the paper. Yeah. This one is the generalization of the cross-connections. 
Why this is true, you can think in roughly like, in Michael Fulson's paper, he defined uh, this whole uh, obstruction I just wrote down on uh, any single variety. And then he proves some functionality property of this one. For, for example, he proves some functionality property of the of the constructed function and this term of the class and the proper pu and the push forward, pull back, something like this. Okay, using the graph construction. Using the uh, potency uh, in the graph construction, something like that. And then because this satisfies the functionality property, and also this this all our obstruction, all our obstruction for any simple variety will be the basis of the constructible functions. And then, you know, you can prove this zero. Because, uh, this is a uh, very long term. I, I, I don't have time to, to do the proof, but roughly like this. Yes, and ask you a qualitative question. Mm -hmm. So it seems to me that you're, you're starting by constructing a zero dimensional cycle yes. on Z, right? Yeah. On Z, and then, and then you push it forward to X, and then you further push it forward to the classical mm -hmm. point. Uh -huh. yeah. So is is the reason I mean is is the reason that we don't express this push forward to the classical point directly from Z because you know Z is I mean Z singular and X is smooth, so that's is that the issue or is there some other reason that oh, we don't just let say me, let, let me see. No, because in this case really because this is Because you can, because this is only, uh, in, on the, because here really you can do the, you can do the integration on Z, right? Because because this constructed function for the point not belong to Z is zero. So that means eventually you know the the whole operation without Z you don't count. Okay, right? This, this okay. But why I do this? Because it's you know in general like this. Uh, uh, Macpherson is the, the you know Macpherson's idea is actually to want to define chain class for x, if x is probable or predicted. So now I give a so to follow up on that, do you, it seems like the left and the right side don't depend on x really. Uh, yeah, I think here, if we write up here, that's not even on x. And, and the right side also, right? Yeah, because, yeah, because I just write on this, it's okay. Because now I do for x. Protective. Now, Fulson proved that the local polar obstruction is the basis for the group of constructible functions of X. Yeah. So that this one X, you know, this is the constant function, right, on X, assumed to one, is, can be written down as Linear combinations uh, of finite zi beyond x. Ai is an integer. Okay. Now, then he define c one x just is c x. This is the chain class for x. So that's why I said this is a generalization to single variety. Are you saying there exists some zi's? Yeah, so there exists the zi so that one x can be written down as a finite linear combination of all our obstructions. Of course, it's a very rough. For example, for complex variety, how you write on this, right? This is a very challenging question. I think. Uh, Paulo Alufi did a lot of calculations on this. Alufi is really an expert on my master I learned some from his papers. But anyway, this is a rough theory. We don't need that, but we don't. I just mentioned this. Okay. So, Can you maybe say for the grad students what a constructible function is? Oh, so I said so scary. constructible function means it's a constant on the close, locally closed subvariety. Or, you, as you see, as a radio measure, this singular, right? You can give a stratification, measure the singularity, how, how bad the singularity is. Then, 
the constructive function is constant on each strata of the stratification. For example, you, for this, you can give a Whitney stratification, so that it's constant on each strata. So if we, if we pick x to be equal to p1, and then it's oh, a yeah. possible projector ID that is not just a point. Yeah, I mean, remind, if not the only p1, if x is smooth. Uh -huh. <laughs> if x is smooth, then, you know, one, you know, this natural one, nothing, right? Just x, right? Just mm -hmm. irreducible. Then, then, then the c1x is just the cx. It's just a rhythm class. But is that obvious from that definition? For, from which one? From the this c1x, yeah. No, in, if x is smooth, because you reduce the smooth, you don't have this, you just have one, you know. Because this, yeah, of course. Because you have nothing rather than UX. Yeah, UX is the one. Yeah. Oh, so you can take the whole sub. Yeah, of course. There's a whole thing. Uh, okay. You, you, you cannot take the, you know, you, 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 or you, you even can ask if you can, you can take the closed sub, I don't know, but you can take the whole thing. Yeah. I see that. Okay, so it's truly trivial. This is really. The most of is really. Okay, so this is the fact for the index. Of course, this was talking a lot of stuff, but this rough story like this. If we want to understand why this is true, uh, I read you know Mac Fulton's 1966 or 70s, you know, again, the paper. Also not very long, 11 pages only. <laughs> yeah, but contain a lot, a lot of information. So, sorry, mm -hmm. now if x is projective but singular, um, do you get a sort of a gauss bonnet churn theorem for x as well using this? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Sure. That means you also get for any constructive function. But then, if you write down this one, that the gauss bonnet churn theorem is this c0 yeah. m uh, z. Z, you, you, right now you cannot use z anymore. You can use just one x. One x I call this one called the Chen Shiva's mass right? So this is just this really true. It's a problem, of course, X project. So, sorry, it almost seems like you hardwire the definition of the term class of a singular variety to make this work. Is that yeah, right? yes, okay. yeah. Nice. That's my person's idea, I guess. I read that paper because why you need a Nash blow up? Because the Nash blow up is naturally happening in the graph construction of a photon. You read the photon intersection theory, right? In the, I remember in chapter 16 of the appendix, they have an example called the graph construction. Very general. And then McPherson really used the graph construction to prove his functionality property of this local graph construction. Because that's fundamental. Once you prove the, you know, this functionality, you know, functor, how to say, functory, right? It's a property. Then this is the property. It's either full or full back, you know. That's why he used the natural blow up. The blow up is not natural. I still, I'm, I, you know, I learned a lot about that. I, I think I'm still, they, 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 they still have some deeper stuff there, which we, we don't understand. But this is enough, at least for now, for the, <laughs> uh, the theory we care about, right? Now I want to if, explain this one in another, you know, so-called Around intersection, what this mean? So this means this. I just uh, roughly tell the idea. You know, I draw some graph. You know. So remember, before we have this, I suppose we we have the. Hello, smooth skin, all right. So if X is a quasi-projective, if X is a scheme, this is always true, right? I think. 
uh, of course, this theorem is true for dynamorphic stacks. If X is a dynamorphic stack, you need to uh, to assume X is a quasi projective dynamorphic stack by Andrew Crouch definition. And then what that definition mean? means, you will have a global embedding to a smooth dynamorphic stack. Okay. But here, let, let's fix some scheme. It's always true. Global embedding for stack with projective coarse modular space? No, he, he said you require the the dynamical stack is quasi projective. Yeah, but to be quasi projective, it means it has an embedding in to a projective, yeah, to a projective smooth dynamical stack yes. with a projective coarse modular space. Uh, I think so. And okay. then uh, he require more actually another property called the uh, resolution property, nice resolution. Yes. Suppose this okay now. I, uh, I draw a graph and then explain what this means, right? Then, you know, because it's better than just write on the theory. Okay, now, I draw a graph like this. I use the lower step x for the group of integrable cycles of x. Okay. This is Kaepernick's picture, <laughs> my otherwise. <laughs> okay, before, no, now. <laughs> so this, Cone x is the group of the constructible functions. This is an integer value constructible function. These are input. And then write on this. Right? This. M is smooth. Cotelia bundle M is still smooth. L x sigma M means omega M, sorry. Means the group of Lagrangian cycles on sigma M. Support on x. So I, 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 I lose some, you know, maybe I should mention a little bit because of graduate students. I, I draw right on here and then we erase it. So M is a smooth complex manifold or smooth scheme. Then the cotangent bundle of M is a symplectic manifold. Okay? It's a symplectic. <coughs> Why? You can do the local chart, okay? Suppose M locally like CM, right? So this is CM cross CM, right? Then the local coordinate has, right? So this cotangent bundle. And then the simplex form is, no, I, I, if I write on this way, then, <laughs> write on where one is where I was, another fiber, then this. So we can prove this, this form is a two form, right? It's a two form, two form on the cotangent bundle of M, you know? No, this is a symplectic manifold. Okay, this is a be very So that, you said that's Lagrangian cycles on the cotangent bundle of M supported on X? Yeah. And then what does the, this mean? It means the Lagrangian, for, for example, first you think about Lagrangian sub-manifold in sigma m. Suppose v is this. Okay? V is Lagrangian means v first has half dimension. You know, this one has dimension 2m, right? Complex dimension. And then this one must have a dimension m. And also, theta, this symplectic form, restricts to v is 0. This But here, I not only count the smooth one, I count the Lagrangian cycle, means I count some single. Sing if you said a singular cycle means this theta, the dimension is still half, but the theta restrict to the smooth part is it. And then I Apply some arrows on this one. I, I first write down, then I tell you what that means. So I write down this. First, this arrow is the whole lock construction we already talked about. Means for every writer. So this one, how to define this one, right? I, I will explain. So this one will be the 10 mother. 
this is a change by the force of the Then this one I write down as a intersection by running intersection with a zero section F. So how to define this? So here, here to here I, I already introduced, right? At the beginning. So here if I have a Z here, then this to here is E U Z. Right? This is a constructible function. Then to here, so here I, I first write down here. This one to here is the C D zero, degree zero part. And then here, if you have this, and then here is isomorphic, and then here you will have, you will have this one. Then how to do this? This I first define this. For a prime cycle Z or close separated Z inside the group of integrable cycles of X. So this this you 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 guys know this, right? You know, brother student, if you read a little bit of potency intersection theory, so this is a requirement to be admitted here. Huh? It's a requirement to be admitted here. <laughs> so, so the Cho class, the Cho group is the this modular equivalence, right? So you should just think of closed subvarieties in X mod some equivalent relations, some yeah. algebraic version of what this is the algebraic version of the cohomology. Okay. Huh? Sorry? For A, but not for Z. So oh, Z is, yeah, sorry. Z Nobody is just cycle. Just Th this is just cycle. Yeah. And here, this is easy to answer. I take a prime cycle Z to here. I take here this to the so-called co-normal bundle uh, Z if I have. Some, some people use this notation, but I use this. How to define this? Look now. I, I show you, okay? First, this. You think of Z inside M. Of course, this is an X, X is an M. Suppose, locally, we, we, we take locally, right? Locally here, the coordinate is S1 through XM. And then suppose here, locally, it's S1 until XL equal to 0, okay? That means only L plus 1 until M is Y. And then, what's this TZ? I first define T0, zero M. T0, zero, zero means smooth path. Smooth path locally always given by this. Okay. And then this one is given by the coordinate. is Z, L plus 1, so Y, right? Z, M, so Y, because it's a zero, right? Uh, X, X, sorry. Right? And then here, can you imagine what this? This would be D, X, 1, and you D, X, M. This is the normal one. And then this one take closure inside a container bundle of M, this defined as TZ M. Okay? Now it's clear? Locally, always like this. And are, you, and are easy to check. This, these things must be Lagrangian. <laughs> right? This is easy, right? Because look, look at this local coordinate. They apply the, the, the theta. I just write down. Definitely zero. So this, and also, this one will be the basis of this group. And the irreducible, if this is a prime. <coughs> okay, now I explain the, the map. You know, I don't need to write, but let's write a diagram and then tell you what this is. And then, because it's also isomorphic, then this one through this one, this one. And then this one called the characteristic side. Now everything clear. And this one, if you, yeah, I reply more, right? <laughs> reply photo intersection theory. This is the GC map. You know the GC map? If you have a vector bundle, then you do GC map from the child group of vector bundle to the base. Okay? So this is uh, omega m to m. But this is supported on x, of course, when you, when you do the intersection with the cortical to x, right? This, that's why I go there. Now you use this. Okay. So the thing is now, it's clear now. If, we, if you think this diagram is commute, and then because I showed that Z correspond to EUZ, and Z correspond to C0Z, right? And I prove that here, look. This on X is a comeback, then this one always is. 
And then from this diagram, because this will come around to this, and then this will come to this. Means this, I write on more, okay? I mean, what does this mean? Introduce here, explain here a little bit. What does this mean? Means, means you have the Chow group of the omega m to the Chow group of x in a Chow group of m. But then, that matter, but this one, I just think this one. Be because, really, be because, because here the cycle, you take this. Right? This cycle supported on x, all right? You intersect with the zero locus, uh, with the zero section of uh, omega m. Of course, go to x. It's a zero, dimension zero cycle, because this one dimension m, the, the m inside the omega m, the, this is the basis, this uh, dimension m. Two, the, two, inside the two m space, you have a m, you know, you have a m, uh, Two m dimensional subspace intersect, right? Even they are not an intersect uh, transversal, but you can perturb. You, you know, in, in, a, in, a, in this area, always okay because you, we can perturb the zero section to, to make the like the <laughs> sorry how to say like this one, right? And then then have this one, right? You, you always can make this one intersection here transversally to get a finite point, finite number of points at the intersection. That's a zero side. That this one goes to if you you think that here there's a time. Okay? That's that's the dissonant. This really in the algebraic geometry this is the dissonant in the uh, Bolton's book. If you do analytically like what I said, you can perturb it to get a really the transversal intersection. But here you can use some you know turn class or something at a degree zero cycle. So this is not. So you actually, from this diagram, you prove that this one is actually the, you know, this is the, the what is this, the top, uh, with the characteristic, and this is the bubble intersection number. This So this is my post in that theorem. This one, I think you can see that this one is, uh, this is happened in the, uh, I'm, I'm not sure, Kashivara Shapira or Ginsburg theorem. Or Davos, I don't know, but this seems is clear from this. So now, this is the, the right now the, the uh, uh, kind of a little basic material I, I outlined. So in the next hour, I will try to apply all this this stuff right to the modern stuff, to the Donaldson and Thomas theory. Why why this one? And uh, tells you what's very zero. He he proved the, you know fundamental thing in Thomas and Thomas theory. And uh, I also show you. What I did for a little bit for this, in this, this stuff, okay. And really, then in the next hour, I still will draw this graph. And in that case, I will replace everything here differently. You will get done as okay. You can remember this diagram, and uh, maybe we keep it. <laughs> yeah. So we relax at the moment. Oh, yeah. Is it a good moment to take a break? That's yeah. great. Yeah. And then